The Bible teaches that you and I don't just depend on God for our bread, but for our very breath, the air that we breathe. Daniel, when he was speaking to King Belshazzar in, in Daniel chapter 4, or excuse me, in Daniel chapter 5, he says to, to the king, the very breath that you breathe is in God's hands. We are dependent upon the Lord, not just for the great, big, spiritual blessings, but for even the very small physical blessings that I think we often take for granted. There was a man who who learned this lesson the hard way, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. You maybe know the story from Daniel chapter 4. One day he was walking on the roof of his royal palace, and as he's looking out at the kingdom of Babylon, he begins to pat himself on the shoulder, and he says, Is not this great Babylon, which I have built by my mighty powers, a royal residence, and for the glory of my majesty? And you remember what God did to him? God humbled the arrogant king, driving him mad until he started dwelling with the animals in the field. And his hair became long and matted. He would eat grass like an ox. His fingernails got all nasty. His toenails the same. And and, and he just is humbled by the Lord until Daniel tells us he realizes that the most high rules, that he's dependent upon God. And let me just tell you, God will humble you too. If you think that your life is in your hands, if you, like foolish Nebuchadnezzar, look around at your house and you say to yourself, boy, look at all the the wonderful things that I have built. What, What the strength and might of my hand has attained for me, for the glory of my majesty, the outcome of my labors, God will put you in check. And he will teach you that you aren't just saved by his divine power, but you are upheld and sustained every moment of every day by his divine power. And again, brothers and sisters, when we recognize this, when when the good gifts that we have aren't something that we look at and we say, look at what I've done, when they're not causes for pride because we realize that they're indeed gifts, then they become causes for praise. We can look around at the blessings that God has put in our lives and we can say thank you to the Lord. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for my daily bread.